Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. In John 14, 6, Jesus makes the statement that by knowing Him, we know the Father. One of His apostles, Philip, picks up on this and he makes a statement about being satisfied. Notice what Philip says. Show us the Father and it will be enough for us. So get what Philip is asking for. Jesus, give us a glimpse of the Father and that will satisfy us presently to help us and encourage us to persevere until the future reunion with you. Show us the Father and that will do it. Aren't we all like Philip? Haven't we all been there? We've all said things like, let me know that you're really there, Lord, and then that will be enough. I will be satisfied. I will be able to endure. Just give me a glimpse, just a sign. And Jesus responds by referring four times to the unity that is shared by the Father and Son. In verse 9, he says, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Verse 10 says, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. He goes on to say, the words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. And then in verse 11, he says, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. What you are asking for, Philip, has already been given to you. The Father has been pleased to reveal himself through me. And if I'm not enough for you, you will never be satisfied. Nothing else will satisfy you because I am the perfect revelation of the Father. You see, the Father and Jesus have a shared essence, shared knowledge, shared purpose, shared mission. They are of the same divine essence, yet distinct. So retrace the argument here. Philip is saying, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. We'll persevere. We'll not be troubled anymore. And Jesus says to Philip, I'm united with the Father. The Father is revealed through me. Your satisfaction and perseverance come through knowing me and trusting me. I am your real-time revelation and hope. I've shown you the Father. So how is your trouble relieved? How do you fight the turmoil of this world, the anxiety of your life? Well, we oftentimes say, if I could just get a glimpse. If I could just get a vision like Isaiah had or like Moses or like Elijah or Ezekiel or even like the Apostle John. If I could have just lived in the time of being able to see Jesus for myself. And here, emphatically, Jesus says, what is ultimately satisfying, what you are seeking and desiring is answered in knowing, trusting, and believing in Jesus. When you pray today, Please remember Joshua Fury and his family, our missionaries in Zambia. And also remember the Igbo Life Word broadcast that's heard in Nigeria.